we're, we're live? Okay. Hi, I'm Tommy Johnson. I'm here at the Suffolk Art Museum. I'm with my painting class, and I have a real neat little demonstration for you that some of you uh, might want to do. Uh, this would be uh, a neat little tips and tricks kind of thing. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do this painting, and uh, what you'll the, the, the beauty of this is that if you're trying to do your background, uh, you don't want to have to be painting around all these little tiny areas because it tends to look like you're painting around a bunch of tiny areas. So what I've done is I have projected this onto the canvas. Uh, why this looks different because there's masking tape over top of it and I have gone through and painted the flamingos, they're black, and then I put masking tape over top of it, wherever I left my masking tape, and uh, you can see through the masking tape, so then you very carefully go through with an X-Acto knife, and you cut out all of these different areas, okay? If it looks like it took hours, it did, okay? One of the other suggestions that I have for you is the first time that you do it, do it on a canvas board so that you don't cut through your canvas. I'm going to do this uh, with the whole thing with a two inch brush and we'll be using these samples here, which if you go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's, these are the samples that you see uh, for different color paints to do your walls. They're all water-based and they work just fine with your acrylics and uh, no issue. Uh, you'll notice that don't even have any water out here and I'm going to be dipping into multiple colors at a time and this moves very fast. It's a great loose way to, to have yourself some fun. Uh, the, the blue tape here is indicating a uh, horizon line. Uh, typically on a uh, your sky, the horizon line is going to be a little bit lighter down here, a little bit darker up here. So that's why I have that on there. I'll be peeling it off and finishing it after that. Okay. So we're going to go into some purple. Use lots of paint, big old paintbrush. And we're just going to go. I've already painted the sides of this. Yeah, that's what's known as a gallery wrap. And uh, it's particularly with something large, it's very handy because it's acceptable in any art show and it keeps you from having to buy a big frame. Now, when you get to the edges of these, you probably want to put some strokes up and down so that you get all the way up against the tape. If, it, if you just went the other way, then you're gonna tend to have some areas that wind up getting missed. Again, we're not, we're not worried about colors, composition, any of that kind of stuff right at the moment. We're just having fun. Now with the Flamingos being dark, it'd be kind of nice if we have a little bit light or something behind them. Dipping into a couple different colors. That's a nice pink. But I'm making sure that I get up against the tape. Now that I've got a light color here, I'll go ahead and, and do this down at the horizon line. That makes, a, that makes a good light tone, light value for us. If you've ever watched Bob Ross on TV, you hear that sound. Tap, 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 tap. Move up, going into a couple different colors. Again, don't worry about the paint that mixes itself on the canvas. This 
paint up here will stay wet for a while so you can keep working it. Although if you wait too long, you'll find it dries up. And, but you can still go back over it. It's not a big deal. I'm not necessarily intentionally trying to make clouds. They just, they just kind of happen. The, the beauty of this is it's it, it forces you to be loose. You've got a two inch brush in your hand. How tight can you be? Just about ready to do the fun part. Okay, so I have I have everything to where the paint is up against the taped edge. Like I say, you'll be you'll be disappointed if you if, if you don't when you when you peel your tape off. And uh, I'm gonna move this forward just a little bit. Now let's have a little bit of fun up here in the upper edge. Come in and bring down some colors. We'll put blue on this side of the brush, a little lavender on that side. We'll see what happens. glass of wine before you do this, probably not a bad idea. <laughs> but you want to have, you want to have the, the nice slashes, the variety that's, that's going on here. It just, it just adds to the whole painting. Sky up there, and like I told you, we're, we're using this for our horizon line. So now we'll go back and take that off. Put our tape up here, and this would wind up being a darker value than this here. You don't have to get real crazy with it, but but you want to try and come up and make sure that that line disappears. It's all right if you wind up going a little bit high. The key thing is you just want a pretty straight line. end up doing after we finish this section is that we will oh and, and this here uh, is just a little bit too labor intensive to try and tape and cut so I, I painted that in uh, as you notice here the the paint's doing a pretty good job of covering it up and uh, I was a little surprised the first time I did that but it will cover it up which shows that the Lowe's paint must, must be pretty good. Mm -hmm. The key here is to have enough paint on your brush that it will keep coming off because you're, you're not in a position where you can be doing a lot of strokes.
How are we doing, Pastor? Does that look pretty straight? Yeah, good to me. Looks good. Okay, there's a little bit of white right there. It just doesn't want to seem to want to go away. We can always fix that later. Right, come over to this side. We'll do the same thing. Like I was saying, the, the bulk of the work on this painting is, uh, it, was, it was a little bit of projecting, of course, uh, but, but cutting it out was, was the, uh, the time-consuming part. But I just sit it in my lap when I'm watching TV and kind of work on it. There's, there's no, uh, no paint to get on yourself. We all wind up getting paint on ourselves. All right. Was part of the process. I'm sure. Okay, I think we've got something we can work with. Now the fun part comes. Again, when we're doing work down here, we, we do want to go with the tape lines so that we don't have any white edges when we take the tape off. So we'll go ahead and knock that part out. You're not really not worried about what your color is at this stage because it's, it's, it's all going to get covered up by the next layers. Just make sure that you've got, got everything covered up to the tape on. When you come up with a nice stroke like that, where you have your light and dark, that kind of looks like water already. So that's one that you wouldn't want to mess with. Or a good one to leave alone. How about we'll put it that way. We'll finish working over here. Like I say, I've, I've already painted the edges on this thing with the same colors so that I didn't have to worry about that in this demo. More paint, more paint. That's what I'm always telling my students as they're working with micro micro amounts of paint on their painting. Don't be afraid to put paint on it. It's not gonna hurt anything. And in my class, I supply all the paint, so you definitely don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we have we have most everything covered here, as you can kind of see these things coming through. Now you can just sort of have some fun. One of the things that I teach is that you create interest and drama by contrast. And so that's what we want to do. Most students, when they put down a line like that, the first thing they want to do is make it disappear. Don't be scared. Do not paint scared. That's my, mo that's my motto here, and I'll live with it forever. Okay. And with this 
as we move to the front of it, we will go with slightly darker hues. I'm going to go ahead and get some, some blue laid down and then put some wave type shapes over it. Again, doing one side blue, one side purple. Oh, look at that. People saw me paint at home, they'd probably question my sanity. <laughs> that's, that's how I get it done. Paint looks. That's a nice big wave looking shape there. We'll leave that one alone. Into three colors now. going to have a, a darker area on the bottom. So let's go ahead and put a little top on it with a highlight. Now I'll probably avoid my darker blue for the most part. Let's get some, get some nice light, interesting colors going on. back there. The paint blends very nicely like this. As you notice, I haven't even dipped into any water. Just going through and having fun. Alright, so what we'll do at this, at this stage is we'll let this dry and we'll come back and uh, when it's dried up, we'll continue the video and I'll show you what it looks like when we pull the tape off. Okay, so we've let the acrylic paint dry as much as we could. And I kind of give you an idea of what it looks like as we peel it off. So it's going to take a while to do it. So I'll do, do part of it now and, and finish the rest of it up later. But uh, we've got the edges of these, the tape. Coming up, and you can see the flamingos under there. Wherever you have a little white area like this, uh, you just go back with your dark color and touch it up. Some pieces will come off larger than others. This one ran all the way across. It helps to have an exacto knife when you're doing this and don't you know I forgot to bring it. And you'll see some areas here that need to be touched up. You go back with whatever dark color you were using. And just touch them up. There 
is a bunch more of this to, to pull off. And so what I'll do is stop our video and uh, get them all off. And then we'll pick up the video from there. Thanks. All right, so we left off peeling the tape off of all of these. With all these legs, there was a considerable amount of time in that. And uh, what, I, what I found, having done this on a canvas versus a hardboard, was I had to touch up more white than I'm used to. Uh, with the hardboard, you can press the edges down uh, of the tape and you'll have less bleed through. Uh, but I went through and, and touched all of those up. And this, of course, had been painted over. And so I went back and put the reflection lines in there and kind of just got her finished off. And I think it, I think it came out real nice. I uh, hope you like it and try it out sometime. Thanks.